Welcome back to the channel. I have another resource that I found out about thanks to the Hedron Telegram chat. And I think this is an opportune time to know about this resource. I found something interesting just now when I was looking at it. I wanted to share this with you guys. So let's get right into it. This is hexflare.io. And all this chart is showing us is the past share rate, the current share rate, and the expected future share rate. And as you can see, I think this is an opportune time to know about this if you're if you're not paying attention to this already, because there's going to be about a 3% increase any day, likely in the hex share rate. And I want to explain why this matters for hex Hedron and Icosa, at least some of the most meaningful ways that this matters for me when I'm looking at this. So let me first just start with Hex. This is go.hex.com. This is a place that you can go to stake your Hex, one of the growing number of places that you can go. But you can see right here is the share price. It's the amount of hex it takes to get one T-share. So just to make this really clear, since the hex per T-share rate is 23,364, I can test this out by pasting that number in there, staking for two days. And yes, in fact, I get one T-share. Of course, worth mentioning is you can stake for longer. So if I stake for 15 years, the equation changes a little bit and I get basically three times the yield per day that I would if I had only staked for two days. And just that's what the T-share rate, rate is. It's the, at least when it comes to hex right now, it is the number of hex it takes to get one T-share. The T-share is the thing that decides what your yield is. So it's the, it's the ownership your ownership of T-shares is your ownership in the hex inflation that you get back in your account. So that's for hex. Maybe you're already familiar with that, but I wanna talk about this also really quick in Icosa. I will just tell you, Hedron and Icosa use the share rate all over the place, but I'm just gonna talk about a couple places that I find the most meaning in right now for me. One of them is the HSI buyback. So the amount of borrowable hedron that you put in here determines the amount of icosa you get out of here. Except that it takes into account the current T-share rate. So I'm gonna show this to you. So let's look here. So the this is concerning the HSI buyback. This is just the function. So it's the borrowable hedron on your hex stake divided by the hex share rate divided by 10. That's how much icosa you get. So as the hex share rate goes up, the amount of icosa you get goes down. And since this is going to go up any day about 3%, if you're wanting to use this function, just realize if you wait a couple more days, you're probably going to have a a noticeable amount less of icosa. And so just just realize that this function is taking into the share rate. And of course, as you can see, from this graph, the share rate only goes up. One thing I do want to talk about before I forget, is just the importance of the share rate. And when I first heard about hex, I thought the share rate was pretty brilliant. All the share rate, one of the main, one of the main meanings behind the share rate is just, it is just trying to make it so that longer always pays better. When it comes to hex, you don't want people to compound their yield. You don't want them to make short stakes, pull out the yield from the short stake, reinvest it in their principal, and end up in the long run better off than someone that just staked for five years like you want the five-year stake to always be more yield than shorter stakes 
compounded, pulling out their interest and re reinvesting it. If that makes sense. You always want the longer one to pay better. Better. You don't want the short ones, even if they're reinvesting their yield, to ever be more than the longer one. You want to know that if you stake for longer, that's the best yield you're ever going to get, and the T-share rate makes that possible. And uh, it, yeah, I just think it's it's pretty cool. You probably heard about that if you're in Hex. Um, but I want to talk about go back to Icosa. So. The HSI buyback takes the share rate into account. If the share rate rises, you get less ICOSA. And also, just as another example, the ICOSA staking pool and the Hedron staking pool take into account the share rate. For example, I think it could be easily misunderstood that this and this is what your pool ownership percentage is determined by. It is actually not. What determines your pool ownership is the stake points that you have in the pool. And your stake points are basically a function of how much ICOSA you have. For example, in this pool, how much ICOSA you have and what the share rate is. And I can show you that function just because maybe that will make it more clear. So for the ICOSA staking pool, it's the ICOSA staked divided by the hex share rate, since of course, like I said, the hex share rate is on the bottom. As that number rises, your stake points would go down. It's the exact same thing for the Hedron staking pool. So if you're going to stake, just looking at this graph, we are due for, like I said, a 3% jump in the share rate roughly um, maybe you want to stake soon because you'll get a little bit more for it one other thing i wanted to say just on the same topic just so you know the way this share rate works as i could see this also being easily misunderstood your share rate for these pools for example stays the same as long as you don't end your stake so for example you can add to your stake keep your original share rate you can add to your hedron stake keep your original share rate and i just think that's meaningful you're incentivized to add basically and you're de-incentivized to end your stake and uh, it's it's if you end your stake the share rate for example for the icosa staking pool goes up when you stake again if you pull out your yield, you have to end your stake, even if you're pulling it out to just reinvest it again, you since you ran the end stake function, when you add when you run it when run the the new Adicosa to stake, your T share rate will be readjusted. If you're getting Icosa from some other place, for example, if you did give your hex HSI to the ICOSA contract, got ICOSA from this, and added it to your ICOSA staking, to the ICOSA staking pool. You're just running the add function and you're keeping your original share rate. Anyway, I found that resource. I thought it was especially useful because it looks like there's likely going to be a relatively good increase in the share rate, and that's going to affect, you know, people that are playing any of these games, hex drawn or Icosa. And uh, this is again, hexflare.io. I just wanted you guys to know about this. I thought this was interesting and hopefully useful for you. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one.